So now we're going to see how everything actually fits together. We're going to patch a console and actually control some lights in Vision. In Vectorworks, before exporting to Vision, I've assigned each fixture with its universe and channel. Additionally, I gave it a unit number, which is a name to be able to keep track of which fixture is which. Functionally, it's pretty much irrelevant. All of that gets exported to Vision and loaded up, and all of that patch information comes with. Now we're ready to actually patch the console. Now in the console, I need to set the fixture type and mode to match what I have in Vision, or Vectorworks in this case. So I'm using a ClayPaki Sharpie 16 channel, and in the console, I have a ClayPaki Sharpie standard, which is the 16 channel mode. Patching is slightly different in each console, and this is just an example. It's important that those fixture modes and fixture types match along with the universe and channel, otherwise things won't work right. So as I enter a little bit of information, you can see this last line is the patch break, which is 1.001. .001. And that's just this particular console's way of showing the universe and channel. So in this case, it's Universe 1, Channel 1. If it was Universe 2, it would be 2.001. As I hit Apply, I check my patch information right here, which is, again, everything's on Universe 1, Channels 1, 17, and 33, and that does match what I have in Vectorworks on Channels 1, 17, and 33. So now I'm ready to actually control some lights. Now, the fixture profile comes into play when you're actually controlling the lights. That allows the console to keep track of which channels do what, and it lets me as the user actually control just functions by name. So in this case, I've selected the dimmer, and I can turn that up or down, as well as I can go to position and change the tilt or the pan. Additionally, I can actually control multiple lights at the same time. Again, I'm not having to track all the different channels of all the different fixtures I'm using all at once. The console's doing it for me. I'm just telling it which one of the functions I want it to change. 